Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. AJ here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you some advanced meeting options to give you even more control over your meetings in Microsoft Teams. If you find this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and of course, hit that subscribe button if you want to supercharge the way you're using Microsoft Teams. With that being said, let's get into it. So in front of me, I've got my calendar and a few test meetings. I'm going to open up this test meeting down the bottom, and this is going to look quite familiar to a lot of you. It's going to give you all the meeting details, who's attended, what the meeting's about, the time, all that sort of stuff. If you own the meeting and you're going to have a bit more control over what participants can do in that meeting, I recommend scrolling over to where it says meeting options right next to the timestamp. So if we scroll over to the meeting options and select that, it's going to take us to a web browser, which gives you a lot more meeting options and controls over that current meeting. So you can see here, we've got the, the meeting details, and down the bottom it says meeting options. And this is where you can add a bit more controls and restrictions to that meeting. If you have external participants joining that meeting and you don't want them to log in straight away, you want them to wait in the lobby, you can actually turn on the setting by saying who can bypass the lobby. Right now it's set to everybody, so people both inside and outside your organization can just hit join and they'll get straight into the meeting. But if we drop down this option here, you can actually focus it to be people inside your organization and other trusted companies you work with. Only people within your organization, so externals have to wait in the lobby, or you can even make it where it's only yourself. So you might want to join the meeting and have everybody wait while you get your presentation ready. So let's turn on only people in my organization. You can see here that actually filters another option, always let callers bypass the lobby. So a caller is someone that is dialing in through their telephone. So instead of using Teams to dial in, if you have this option turned on, even someone outside your organization can actually just use the dial in feature and they will bypass the lobby unless you turn that option off. Do you want to announce when people join or leave? Um, I would recommend keeping this off unless you have a really specific reason, otherwise it can get annoying. And of course, who can present? So do you want to give everybody the ability to share their screen? Do you want to have only specific people? It could be yourself and a colleague. Do you want, do you want it to be just people in your organization and those external people, just participants? Or again, do you want to restrict it to just being yourself? So for this meeting, we're going to go only me. Cool, and that is how you can add a bit more control over your current meetings. You can see here that who can bypass the lobby. For this meeting, we've said it that only people in your organization can bypass the lobby. So you have externals, they're gonna have to wait in the lobby until someone admits them. So can people that phone in with the, the dial-in number, can they bypass the lobby? We've actually set that to no, so even they'll have to wait in the lobby. And who, who can present to this meeting? We've said it to only yourself. This is some great added functionality to help you gain more control over your Microsoft Teams meetings. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge the way you use Microsoft Teams, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye.